guys and welcome back and today we're going to do a talk over some waders um, so yeah so if you like these sort of videos please hit the subscribe button like this video put your comments below what you think and let's get on with this tactic Tuesday see you in a minute Welcome back to the Tactic Tuesday, so I'm just getting the win line. I thought I'd go over um, my, well, I've got two chesties and I've got some hip waders. I thought I'd go over what what I've got and what I think of them as, you know, as I've used, well, one of them I ain't used, I only used once, the others I have used quite plenty of times. So this is my sort of, sort of like review of them of from cheap ones to okay range and then mid range not top quality I ain't got no like near the hundred mark but let's get on first um, is these these pair nylon nylon stitched and sealed seams um, they come in various different colors George has got the camo color I've just got the plain green color nice little pocket there um, the boot um, like so, it's just an all basic boot, um, you know, not too bad, the size when I ordered this online came perfect, I felt this sort of, it's really soft rubber, well PVC boot, um, the only thing I don't like it, the like about it, it's actually when in the water actually starts nipping your toes a bit because it's that soft it's not sturdy enough I don't think um, another down point um, of this sort of chesties is the straps straps are not lasticated they're very solid and they're easy to fray on the end um, but what do you expect for a cheap pair um, these, these I actually bought off Amazon. Um, cost me, I think it's like 30, 36.99. I think these cost me. George had to pay an extra pound for the camo version. Um, yeah, so if you're if you're new to like using chest waders or any waders, um, and you, you know you don't want to go it all out, I would say go for these. But to be fair, I wouldn't. Not not this sort not don't go for the cheapest go for something a little bit more to you know to be 100 percent quality well a bit more better quality um the only thing i don't like these some people might disagree with me this is only my review um i don't like nylon i just don't like to feel i just i feel every time i wear these i feel that they're gonna rip um you know even when i take take the straps off and clip them and like go to reach down to get stuff they feel like they're gonna rip at any minute George used uh, his ones he he kneeled down um, to just pick something up and it a small the small stone you can think of and it pierced it just like that um, if you're gonna take pictures in the water kneeling down with with your carp um, in the lake and you're kneeling down got to be careful what you're kneeling on with these um, but hey ho it's what you pay for I was just I wanted my first pair of chesties and this is what I got um, at the price at the time not bad to be fair but if you're just starting I'll go for them if you don't, you don't if you're on a budget um, can't done me well not had no problems um, nothing is 
Um, I'd say it's very hard to repair these if these do get hold because you either got to get the right solution glue so it don't melt the nylon because when sometimes you put glue on plastic it melts um, like di different plastics I mean um, but it's all down to you if you want to go for them not bad for first boot um, well chesty <laughs> Next range is, um, I think I paid, it's supposed to be about 45, I've gone for 40 quid from Go Outdoors, you won't believe it. Um, they do some ch um, chesties as well and hip waders in their fishing section. I went and bought some and I got the Ron, Ron Thompson, um, Ron Thompson's um, hip waders, made out of PVC, um, same again. Love them, not they feel nice and strong. Um, the boot, it's still still on the soft side a little bit, but it's actually stiffening up a bit with these. Um, normal tread feet, um, easy to go on, and clips are very easy to adjust as well. Very nice boot for the price. Um, for the price range, if you if you don't go deep, if you're not one of them people who go out deep enough, even if you just use it just to clear a little bit of a swim in your area, um, like in your swim you chose to fish and you need to get some odd, odd reeds or weed out, um, use these. Um, or if you just want to go in a little bit to take a picture of a carp, um, you also can use these. Um, I actually use these if I know it's gonna be raining uh, like a session I actually use these like waterproof like trousers I'll wear them and um, I wear a big jacket and wear these and my trackies for instance or your clothes underneath don't get wet um, and like again these are about 40 to 45 quid um, lovely I like them and well worth investing to have chesties and hips just in case um, yeah that's all really I can say really easy to prepare these came with a patch already with them so if you do need to glue a patch inside it's best to glue it in like inside not actually on the outside so you don't catch on anything that's my so yeah Ron Thompson that is my hip waders um, I actually quite actually like, like them. Um. about a week ago well when this comes out it'd be two weeks um, love these um, everyone goes on about them I thought what the hell I'll go from but I only got the entry level ones um, because I've got two sorts and everyone know what I'm on about in a minute I'm gonna get these out bass chesties these I absolutely love PVC, welded seams, very nice, very comfortable, um, got, got your internal pocket to put stuff in instead of like, on front ones and actually when I wore these in the work party um, they feel really strong and very good. Um, things I love about them, e like with their hip waders, easy to repair. Um, Bass on their web, um, website, they've got um, a little video on their YouTube as well of how to repair them and the best way to repair them and that's why I bought go for a PVC pair because um, they're easy to repair. Um, another thing I like about this, you've got the divider so you're not messing about um, and getting them all tangled while trying to get them on. 
Um, quick slip on as well, decent enough, not like tight squeeze. Um, another thing is, it's elasticated strap. Brilliant. What exactly what I wanted, elasticated. Um, you know, so you can get them, you can get them tight, but they still, you know, still have that, you know, fit round you. Um, and I feel comfortable, you know, this won't, this is quality elastic as well. I don't think this will frayed any time soon using them. I've only used them once, but by God, they're, ma they're so much better. Um, the quality as well, the thickness of it is like 100%. And this is only entry level um, bass ones. These cost me 50 quid. Um, I thought that ain't too bad. Um, I was going to get some fox ones, but I decided to go fast. Doing the trend of everyone else what they're getting at the moment and yeah the boot it's not studded the boot is a, it's a bit more tougher it's a bit more rigid um, it won't it, it don't like nip up um, very tight um, like when you fold them up or nothing very sturdy boot um, I went out on these these didn't nip at all um, and I don't think and the soles on them are tough as anything. So if you're worried that you've got to step on something sharp, I very highly doubt it will pierce it. Um, so that's only my first time, but I'm hoping to get these used where I'm fishing. I'm going to use them a bit more and get some water shots with some carp in them. Hope don't jinx myself. Um, but yeah, the do this is the, these are, oh sorry, I didn't mention these are the TX, no, Tex, Tex, sorry, I think it's TEX 600 series waders, um, chesties these are. Um, you do get, I think it's the 700 series um, with the yellow strap, that's what we call, um, people call that the professional um, chesties. Um, they're a bit more, they're average between 80 to 100 quid, but you get the metal studs underneath the boot, so for grip, um, so you wouldn't slip. And I say their the quality goes even beyond that, um, and they even got the fast little logo on the chesties on the right hand side. Um, bit carpy, um, but they're really good. What I've heard of them, but for the first entry of first buy of um, fast chesties, and you know the entry level ones, I absolutely adore, and I can't wait to get using them more often. So. Yeah, like well again, 50 quid for the entry level, 80 to 100 quid for, as they call it, the professional ones. Um, very good. I'm glad I brought them 100%. So, that is my review. Sort of quickly gone over chest waders of mine. Um, see, I would, you know, nylon I used to, you know, if someone wants to borrow a pair or work parties. And if you're doing jobs like taking stuff out the lake um, with, for your local, if you're doing work parties, and you don't mind if something happens to them, I'll get the cheap nylon ones. I I don't like them because I just don't like the material. It feels like it's going to rip easily. Um, hip um, hip waders, obviously, if you're only going out a little way and not placing rigs and just want to have a quick, just in a little bit of a water, take a picture or like I use them as waterproofs um, so my trackies or whatever I'm wearing underneath don't get wet um, while I'm sitting or in the rain or like I say just clear out um, the fast ones I recommend 100% I only used them once but by god using them once I'm loving them already I know there's no difference but they are they feel more sturdy when you actually got them on you feel like there's no going to penetrate the thick pvc material um and i suppose if i get on with these probably in the next couple years or a year time i'll probably upgrade to the top of the range ones uh that's my re review um of oh, fast fast does do a chest wader um bag if and they do hip waders as well. Um, chest, um, they do a bag where you can store them in properly um, and keep them all nice and don't chuck them out on your gear or on your barra. They do a proper presentation bag and that's, um, I think you can pick them off the internet for 20 quid 
I'm using an old bivy bag, um, small bivy bag. What the bivvies just t totally had it, and I kept the bag. Good, I did because I got a use out of it. Um, but that's me. Um, I probably will get the vast bag in time to come. But like I say, if you're on short money, you got to even it out or family life. So that's my review of them. Um, put in the comment what you what the best chesties you have worn. I have worn tracker ones as well with the like the jets like a jet like a swimsuit like you know like jet skiers wear that sort of material bits thicker they are I have worn them but they're not my favourite they feel really heavy but what you put in comments what you think and well, again it's just my review of it so that's me and I'll catch you on the next one.